and I was born into a mixed Christian family. I mean, I was baptized in three churches, in the Catholic, the Orthodox, and the Unitarian Church. I to cross myself every time I crossed by a church, it was, it was quite practical. I was reading the Bible. It was not just doing it. Like, I was attending uh, classes, and um, my family were quite uh, surprised that at such a young age I have such a dedication. My grandma, of course, she was very happy. She was like, you're going to be a priest. You know, you're going to be a priest. She always pushed me in the front at the altar next to a priest, and she was very happy and proud. So I, I became very devout and quite knowledgeable in, in the Bible and studying, seeing, researching. What was the thing that made you question your beliefs? I think the first time I had a serious doubt was a discussion that I had with uh, my Bosnian friend, Kamal. I remember going for a football a match. It was summer and we're driving and we're just talking. We used to talk a lot about these things and argue. And I remember he got upset and he's like, look, he's like, do you really believe that Jesus is the son of God? Like, I, do you really believe he's the son? Even though I've been asked the question many times. But that one time I felt a doubt. And actually my fitra didn't resonate with that. So for the first time, I have to be honest with myself and with someone else. In my mind, I paused and I think, wait a second. Like, what's going on here? This is something's not right. I need to learn more. And another thing that really got me intellectually was that I was reading the Bible and the description of the prayer of the prophets in the Bible is the way he prays, by falling on his face. But that's exactly how the Bible describes the prophets. I mean, Prophet Jesus himself in the Garden of Gethsemane, he fell on his face to pray to God. He's praying like Jesus. And I said, bro, like, do you know you guys pray like what? He says, of course I know, because Jesus was a Muslim. And I was like, no. Come on, what do you mean? He's a Christian. He said, no, how can? There's no Christian at that time. You could say in the worst case that he's a Jew, right? Because ethnically, that's what they were. But there was no Christianity back then. I was like, he's right. He's right. I have to be honest. He's right. And why don't we pray like that? You don't see the priest go and make him sujud. I mean, there's certain sects of Christianity that still do it. So that was, again, a huge hit. A huge doubt came on, on me to the point that I actually left Christianity and it was probably those few incidents that really made me leave Christianity. Some of the discussions that I had with the priests in the Catholic high school, my religious teachers, about the theology of the Trinity, I mean, those really solidified my doubts, which was good, because at least now I had the first part. I believe God exists, but there was something missing. Okay, I believe in God, so the, 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 the deists, right? They believe in God, but there's something missing. Where's the system? What do I have to do? Where's the direction? That was the next stage in, in my discovery. But I left Christianity to me. Like I had a dream about Jesus one time. It was very interesting because um, I was driving him. And he was in the back seat and he was laying down, he was tired. And he was wearing a, a jalabiya, a thobe. And he was wearing running shoes like Adidas. I know, it's a weird dream. He was telling me, I'm tired, Gabriel. You know, I'm tired. And I stopped the car and all these people were coming to him. Oh, Jesus, God. And he looks at me like they're coming around the car. You know, like when there's like a, a famous person and he told me, he's like, look at them. They think I'm God and I'm tired. He said, I'm laying down here tired and they think I'm God. It was very, again, a very, very, am I going to base my choice of Islam on this dream or anything like that? No, people keep claiming these things, but, I, but these things did matter. I felt it was a continuation. I didn't feel like I'm changing. I felt like I'm adjusting. Knowing all the prophets, knowing the Old Testament, the New Testament, I felt like Islam was just the last testament. And then finally realizing that Islam is just the continuation of the same message. It makes sense. It's like, it was La ilaha illallah, Musa Rasulullah, Isa Rasulullah, Nuh Rasulullah, Ibrahim, and now it's La ilaha Muhammad Rasulullah. 